national level. They win. <laughs> Today marks a new day, the first day of your blocks. Exhibition, reg, squad, color guard, equally as important as the other. Okay, you're also at a new location. This is Joe T. Haney Drill Field. Okay, BQs, this is extremely important to us. This drill field has been used for hard work for many, many years. Through B previous BQs and myself when I was a freshman. Okay, my class was the last class to march on this drill field for practice before we moved across the street. For many people that have marched on this field, this is a symbol for them, for their hard work, for their discipline. Okay, I have personally seen ashes being spread on this field for how much this meant to dead BQs. Okay, that should mean something to you. This field is yours. This field was given to us because we do hard work every single day. And that's what this, this drill field was made for. You need to uphold that standard whenever we come out here. Whenever you're tired out here, you think about all these BQs, all the hard work that was put in this field, all the blood, sweat, and tears that you're standing on right now, all the ashes of the past BQs, of the past Corp Cadets members that are on this field. Okay, that should motivate the hell out of you. Every single day you come out here, you put 110%. You put 125%. Does that make sense? Sorry, yes, sir. Right up. Okay. What's going on? You're going to learn how to take care of it, how to use it.
Woodrow K. Woody Ratliff, class of 82, honored. On the Saturday night before the beginning of the fall 1979 semester, Texas A&M's Memorial Student Center open house was in full swing as Woodrow K. Woody Ratliff, class of 82, strode to his place in front of the freshman drill team booth. After what was as described later by spectators as a flawless manual of arms demonstration. Woody headed for home at a family reunion in San Antonio. About 7 a.m. Sunday morning, September 2nd, 1979, he fell asleep at the wheel near Bastrop and hit a tree. He was killed instantly. The death of the sophomore electrical engineering major was felt deeply, not only by his family, but also by his Corps of Cadets outfit, Company S2, and the advisor staff of the freshman drill team. Woody, who had been the guide on bearer for the class of 1982 fish drill team, had been selected from the 29 team members to be one of the six sophomore advisors. The drill team staff also includes two juniors and a senior. In honor of his memory and the contributions he made, he was voted unanimously by his teammates to receive the Roger A. H. Gray Memorial Award for inspirational leadership. The commander of the fish drill team will, from now on, carry into competition a special saber, the silver and gold saber purchased with donations from Woody's family and the association of former fish drill team members is inscribed Woodrow K. Ratliff, class of 82, in addition to the traditional ornate military scroll work of the blade. The scabbard is engraved. My spirit is forever with you, Woody, 18 March 1960 to 2 September 1979. That being said, this saber will be entrusted to Fish Hudson, but it is a gift to the team. You will hold it for you guys. This is a gift to every individual on this team. This legacy will be carried on by the class of 25 as it has been carried on for almost 50 years now. My spirit is forever with you. It's heavier. Unsheath the saber. We're done. Yeah. 
Woo!